In this video, we're going to look at the ternary operator in PHP and how it provides um, a lot uh, cleaner syntax to us uh, instead of using an if statement if an if statement isn't required. So we'll jump in and actually take a look at a quick example. Um, and we might want to check that something's true and return a value, or we might want to, you know, do something entirely else we might want to echo something based on the fact that a value equals another value so I'm just going to say admin equals true and we'll use this as the basis for what we output to the page now traditionally with an if statement we say if and else and we say if admin or if admin equals true with type checking echo you are an admin otherwise echo you are not an admin so we already know how this works we've seen it by looking at if statements already in this case it says you are an admin and if we change this to false then this expression will obviously um, not evaluate to true and therefore um, we see this part of the else block now this is a little complicated for the fact that we're just outputting uh, something based on the fact that a variable is either true or false so how can we improve this well we can actually change this um, one two three four five line piece of code to one single line and we do that using a ternary operator so the first thing that we do is we either assign the value of the ternary operation to a variable, we output it, um, anything that really um, it, it, w it works in relatively the same way. The, um, the, the, the benefit of this is obviously that we only need to do this on one line and use echo or an assignment once. So this looks slightly confusing, but you know, once you use this, it makes it saves a lot of time, it looks cleaner, and it's easier to read. So I'm going to say echo, and I'm going to put brackets here straight uh, after echo. Now, this is a little weird, but this is the same as the brackets in an if statement. So in this case, we can put our um, the expression that we want to evaluate to true or false in here. So I'm going to say if admin is equal to true, now, what happens now? Do we use curly braces? This looks a bit strange. Well, we don't. We use a question mark. Now, this is basically the equivalent of saying, run this if this expression evaluates to true. So in this case, I'm just going to use single quotes. Now, why am I using single quotes here to say you are an admin? Well, think of it this way. If we get rid of this check, this is perfectly valid syntax. So all we're doing is we're saying, if this is true, this should be what comes after echo basically now for an else we use a colon so here we can say you are not an admin so this is basically the equivalent to the if statement that we created a moment ago but it's all in one line so when i refresh here it says you are not an admin and then when i change this to true and we go ahead and refresh the page it says you are an admin so we've done this effectively in uh, in you know in one line now we can get a little bit more complicated than this so other than the complicated expressions that we could come out with and place inside of our brackets we can actually perform other um, other ternary operations inside of these blocks so for example if I was to say um, moderator equals true now let's just assume that to be a moderator you have to be an admin as well so what we could do is we can say you are an admin and then we could go ahead and concatenate on another string and check uh, whether this they're a moderator as well so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just for simplicity wrap this in brackets um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say moderator true and um, we'll just say you are also a moderator and then we'll say otherwise in fact we'll just leave it at that and we'll empty, uh, use an empty string so this is starting to look a little bit complicated so probably not recommended for one single line because we're stretching a little far and it just uh, decreases the readability and understandability of this code so what we're basically doing here is we're just saying is this user an admin yes you are an admin so we basically output 
everything or we run everything here we automatically output this single uh, this um, this string here in single quotes but then we can concatenate on this string if this is true or an empty string if it's not true so in this case what's going to happen is when I refresh you're also a moderator oh um, we need to get rid of that and place that in brackets sorry so we're outputting this and then we're concatenating on the check here um, so let's go ahead and just rerun that there we go so you are an admin you are also a moderator um, what we can then do is if we're not a moderator that will just remove that and if we're not an admin even if we are a moderator which doesn't make sense or, or in this case doesn't make sense it just says you are not an admin so that's the ternary operator we've looked at a slightly more complicated example in terms of putting another ternary operation inside the first uh, result of this or, or the true um, block of this of this ternary operator but for small things like if we just revert to our previous example um, like this you are not an admin this makes a lot more sense because if you're just trying to quickly output something to a page based on the result of something it just means that you don't have to uh, use an if statement where it's not necessary